G'day, I'm Flight Lieutenant Chris Pendleton. I'm an air combat officer on board the uh, AP-3 Orions. And my job essentially is to make the tactical decisions of the mission, whether it be hunting a submarine, dropping life rafts for search and rescues, or up north in Darwin, looking for the uh, illegal immigrants coming into Australia. Originally, I had no idea what I was gonna do. And year 11, the recruiting team came through my school and gave their presentation, and it got me hooked. They told me about the Australian Defence Force Academy, and they're going to pay for me to go to Canberra, go to university. So, excellent. Why not? At first, most people want to join up as a pilot, but when I read the uh, the job description about you pretty much do the flying, but that's about it. You don't have to think about anything. I thought air combat, obviously, you have to make your decisions, get to tell people how to how to run the show. And it just seemed more appealing to myself. I spent a year on the basic air combat officers course um, that runs down in Sale, just east of Melbourne. But uh, I was lucky enough to do it in Canada. I went to Winnipeg, uh, spent the year there, all paid for by Defence Force. There's pretty much three levels for my job. You can go maritime streaming like myself, uh, you can go to the fast jet world, uh, and then of course you can go uh, air defence or air battle space manager and hopefully get onto the uh, AWACS when they come in. We get a typical day is not very typical. If we're at work, I'll be starting about eight, finishing 4.35. But if we're flying, we usually take about two hours to pre-flight and do turn the computers on, get everything running. And then missions can go from eight to 11 hours. We can take 20 people on board, but six of those would be passengers only. They have spots down the back to sit. And we can take 12 usually for all the operational positions. My role as the uh, air combat officer on board is to tie all that in together, make the decision and tell the crew what's going to happen next. So as a junior operator, I was in charge of all the radios, getting sure information came and left the aircraft in a timely manner. And now as a senior um, maritime tactical coordinator, I'm uh, in charge of the mission, making the decisions. The experiences you can enjoy are vast and varied. I've been over the Middle East twice now. I've been to Japan a couple of times for exercises, did the year in Canada for NAV course. Now, um, go to Darwin a lot for uh, searching for legal immigrants on Operation Resolute. I, I do expect to uh, do a lot of traveling and uh, get around, but I never expected to make as many friends as I have. And I can pretty much go now to any city in Australia and have someone to stay with, especially through uh, going through Defence Force Academy. You make a lot of uh, lifelong friends through there. And then throughout your career, every, every posting you have, you make new friends.